Hey everybody, it's Chris with Simple Tech coming at you with this week's Simple Tech Tip. Um, this week we're going to have more of a conversation, so I'm warning you now, we're not going to be really showing anything on the computer so much, but we are going to be talking about pass keys. So if you hate passwords, this is the video for you. Um, so pass keys are a new thing that Apple is introducing in macOS Ventura. There is a group of individuals or companies, I should say, in the tech industry that kind of came together and realized, hey, passwords are, you know, so 1990s and we need to find a better way to authenticate users and make pass keys easier for people to utilize or passwords easier for people to utilize. You know, if you talk to anybody in the industry, they're always going to tell you that, you know, every website needs to be a different password. You need to have special characters, capital letters. I'm sure a lot of you that are watching get extremely frustrated with trying to remember passwords. And then they're going to tell you not to write them down, right? So what do you do? So that's why you've had this development of a lot of companies allowing you to save passwords or have a password manager. So like Google Chrome has a password manager built into it. Safari has a password manager built into it. Microsoft Edge has a password manager built into it. LastPass, 1Password, those are password managers. So you can store a lot of your passwords in there. They'll help you save them. They'll be easy for you to look up passwords, all that kind of good stuff. So that is a great place to start if you're one of those individuals that has a lot of different passwords that are not unique but it'll allow you to start making them unique and saving them in a more secure way. Now, pass keys, on the other hand, is a new phenomenon. Now, this is based on industry standards for account authentication. They're easier than passwords, and they're actually far more secure. Um, pa adopting pass keys gives people a simple way and a secure way to sign in, whether it's your applications, to websites, um, without actually needing your password. So when you're, when you're creating a pass key, it's a one step account creation and you're either using face ID or touch ID to verify your identity instead of a password. So we all know these fun 10 little digits should be unique to every single one of us. Um, unless you have a dot, like a, a direct twin. Uh, I know a few, um, you know, and same with the face ID, right? It's going to be really hard to bypass that. Somebody's going to have to go through a lot of trouble if they want to get through face ID. And what those are the ways you authenticate. And pass keys are actually synced with iCloud Keychain. So they become available across devices. So that means it'll work on, if you're using iCloud and iCloud Keychain, it'll work on iPhone, iPad, you know, and Mac OS. Um, you'll also be able to use your iPhone to stand, sign in to apps and websites on uh, non-Apple devices, right, from a verification perspective. Um, so it really is next generation where the industry is going for security. Um, it works great alongside passwords. You know, you're using pass keys basically to autofill that data um, using Face ID or Touch ID. So it's auto-filling your, your, your username and password for you. So you still want to make sure that you're using unique passwords and you're staying secure. Um, but it allows you to kind of use them in tandem. So you might have even actually already come across some websites. Like I know there's some that I use that will ask me if I want to use my fingerprint. And what's funny is it'll, it'll work great when I'm at my home computer because uh, it has Touch ID. I'm working off a Mac mini here in the office and I don't have Touch ID on my keyboard, um, so it doesn't work, so I have to use passwords, uh, both for the same site. And so they work great together and you'll, you know, and you'll start to see this develop more and more and more throughout the industry because companies like Google, Microsoft, Apple, you know, those are like big three, right? They're all on board with this change. Um, and so pass keys are extremely, extremely important and something that I do recommend that everybody take that time uh, to understand. Now, 
there are some great articles that Apple has on pass keys. And if you actually search for, you know, Apple support pass keys, you're going to get a plethora of them that Apple has, whether it's from the developer website, whether it's from the normal Apple support website, um, you know, it, it's, there's just a lot out there and there's still a lot of questions. So, you know, I would really, really highly recommend that you take that time to kind of dig through there. Um, what we'll do is we will share the, um, Apple support article in the, in the show notes that is make your pass keys and passwords, uh, available on all your devices with iPhone and iCloud keychain. So that way you can see how you kind of set it up. They give you a little guide on there on how to set it up. Um, how to set it up on an additional devices and how to recover your iCloud keychain if your device is lost or stolen. Um, and so those are just some great steps to kind of get you started with using pass keys. But something I just really, really want to highlight and that I can't stress enough is that this is going to take a long time to develop. So as I was talking earlier about having unique passwords for everything, that is still extremely, extremely critical for any user to do. Um, so implementing iCloud Keychain as a part of creating unique passwords, um, helping you create unique passwords would be ideal. You know, so I really would take that time to make sure uh, you are using some sort of password manager. And I kind of listed them earlier. You could either use your browser. So if you're a big fan of Google, you can use Google Chrome. You can sync that across your devices using Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Safari, uh, iCloud Keychain is what Safari uses. You know, but if you're an Apple user and that's all you got, you got Macs, you got iPhones, you got iPads, dude, stick with iCloud Keychain. It's got 256 encryption. You know, you should have two-factor authentication turned on with your Apple ID and your iCloud account. Um, all the steps that you need to be secure. So that's just a brief introduction into pass keys. We'll dig more into password management in future episodes using iCloud Keychain. Um, but for now, just kind of wanted people to understand that this new feature in Mac OS Ventura, uh, what it can do, um, you know, and all that kind of good stuff. So check the show notes if you want to learn more. I'll put all the links to the Apple articles that uh, I have found that really dive into this because it is new. It is something the industry is evolving to, to eliminate the need for always remembering your password. So if you want to make your life a little bit easier, I would think about implementing this. Uh, with that, folks, I just appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe. Like I said.